And now we move to Canada, where a startling trend is emerging at its border with the United States. Illegal immigration by Indians into the United States has skyrocketed to raising alarms on both sides. New data by the U.S. Border Patrol reveals that over 43,000 Indians were detained at the U.S.-Canada border. And during this period, approximately 10 Indians were arrested every single hour while attempting to cross into the United States. U.S. Customs and Border Protection made over 14,000 arrests of Indian nationals attempting to cross the northern border over the past year. Indian nationals compose about 60% of all arrests made along the northern border, more than 10 times the number of arrests made two years ago. Now the surge reflects a broader issue. In fact, Pew Research estimates over 725,000 undocumented Indians currently live in the United States, making them the third largest illegal immigrant population in the United States. But why are more Indians taking this perilous route as they leave Canada and head towards the United States? Experts point to a mix of factors, including political repression, rising extremism in Canada, and a long visa delay. In fact, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau even admitted that his government failed in cracking down on illegal immigration. Now, this comes almost seven years after he promised to provide refuge to all asylum seekers coming into Canada. Some saw that as a profit to game the system. We saw way too many large corporations do this. Looking back, when the post-pandemic boom cooled and businesses no longer needed the additional labor help, as a federal team, we could have acted quicker and turned off the taps faster. Now, with more and more Indians fleeing Canada, Washington has put its borders on high alert. Moreover, as Donald Trump is poised to return to the White House, he's promising an aggressive crackdown on immigration. Led by his borders are Tom Homan, Trump's team plans sweeping changes targeting both illegal crossings and Biden-era legal programs. And as the situation escalates, one question looms. Will the migrant crisis of the U.S.-Canada border dent bilateral relations between the two countries?